Puma. Okay, so uh, welcome to everybody for one more session of the Logical Universities webinar. So um, today uh, we will present uh, one book of the, the latest book of the book series uh, Studies in Universal Logic. So the book is uh, Logic in Question. It's related with the webinar we have organized. We are organi organizing uh, at the Sorbonne since uh, 2011. And uh, Razvan, uh, member of the editorial board of the Studies of Universal Logic, is the chairman today. So uh, Razvan, maybe you can say a few words about the book series, uh, and uh, then uh, we, then uh, Anka and myself will talk about the workshop, and then we'll have a talk by Alpha Swaz. She just arrived. Yeah. Oh, so uh, thank you very much, and even I'm very honored to chair a session or another session of uh, this webinar. Uh, I see that there are many participants, so uh, it's quite serious. And uh, about the book series. Uh, I think it's difficult to say anything because I am not, I cannot be very objective because it's uh, really my favorite book series. <laughs> so uh, I think it's uh, very different from uh, other book series that I've seen in the sense that it uh, has an aspect of openness, of openness, which I think is very important. Uh, so there are quite diverse uh, works in logic that are uh, published there. And um, some of them, I think, may be, may, may be difficult to find somewhere else in terms of style and uh, size things, but I think uh, they are very, very good, very necessary for us. And uh, about this particular book, I must confess, I don't know very much, but I understand that it uh, came out uh, as a, um, a collection of uh, papers uh, based on uh, talks and seminars uh, over many years in, uh, in Paris. Um, so I look in the table of contents and it seems very interesting, very interesting. Uh, also, of course, I can uh, maybe from my very personal point of view, I think maybe something very little is missing, I think from, from there. Uh, Especially the, uh, I, 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 I mean, the, because I saw something about Chinese logic, but I think uh, in uh, ancient Chinese logic, but I think in this respect, I think also uh, Indian logic tradition would, I think, uh, deserves also very much uh, attention. Then I think we'll have a talk about um, the. Um, work or the impact of uh, or the place of work of uh, French uh, logician Louis Coutura. So I think uh, it will be very interesting webinar. So let's uh, start. All right, so I will say a few words about this uh, workshop and the book uh, with Anka. So <laughs> we start to organize this uh, workshop at the Sorbonne in 2011 with uh, Jean-Pierre Declay, who was a uh, director of the Department of Mathematics of, and Computation of uh, the University Paris 4, 
as a Sorbonne during many years. And uh, Anka is uh, collaborating with him since many years. Uh, Jean-Pierre uh, was not able to come today because he has a, he's all retired, but he's still very active. So he has a meeting today. And uh, Ami Rouch also uh, was working with, with us, but also he's participating to a PhD uh, defense today. So, you know, people are very busy and uh, as, as this, as this, especially uh, at this time of the year. But at least uh, Hanka and me are here. So this workshop, the idea was to organize a workshop every year at this, in spring in Paris. And uh, with all aspects of logic. So uh, as Razan was saying, we had something about ancient logic. So we have something about history of logic. Uh, of course, it's not exhaustive because it's something which is going on. So uh, as Razan was saying that there was not, not yet something about Indian logic, but we will have uh, probably in the next volume. We have here some people, by the way, from India, uh, I see, and uh, there was also um, AT uh, who contributed to uh, uh, a paper in the book, and uh, so uh, there, there is no specific uh, there were there is no specific uh, program. I mean, it's open to any uh, any kind of talk about logic, but depending on the circumstances, we had some, for example, a workshop about Perth for the hundred years of. Uh, I don't know exactly of his birth or of his death, of his death, and we had something about Moore, and so on. so it was. Uh, and it was. I think it's a it's a, it's a nice workshop in the sense that uh, uh, there are not so many people, like uh, maybe uh, 20, 30 people, and a lot of discussion, and we stay uh, three years together, so uh, three day. I mean, three, three days together. So I, I hope, as well, that you will join us at some point in the future. We have to suspend uh, the workshop during the pandemics. So uh, the last session was in 2019. So 2021, in this year, there was no workshop, but uh, hopefully next year we start again. So Anka, please, if you can uh, tell your uh, impression, your ideas about this workshop and so on. And the MOOC, of course, the MOOC, <laughs> big book. Uh, uh, your microphone is off. Okay. It's okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, yes. No, it's okay. yeah. Do you hear me? No, it's... Okay. Uh, so um, um, the book uh, is a part uh, follows a part of uh, the seminar uh, uh, logic in question, as uh, Jean Yves uh, already uh, said. Um, and uh, in my opinion, uh, it, uh, it, uh, uh, this uh, um, seminar um, is a part of uh, the great uh, project initiated by Jean-Yves, uh, the universal logic. It's a part of uh, this project, Jean-Yves uh, project, uh, universal logic. And uh, why? I... Uh, uh, highlight here four dimension of the seminar uh, maybe of the uh, of the project i don't know uh, so um, there was talks about um, in at least uh, four uh, direction in cognition no i mean epistemological foundation one of uh, um, some of them. Um, the, uh, the second uh, direction is uh, um, in the traditional branches of logic, if we can uh, uh, name them, I mean a symbolic logical system, mathematical logic, if uh, you, you want. Um, the, the third dimension is a very, very uh, high interdisciplinarity from the philosophy of language uh, to, let us say, mathematical logic. Uh, and the fourth dimension, in my opinion, uh, it uh, was 
um, the distribution <laughs> distribution over the world. Uh, because now we parle of geopolitical system, uh, I can, uh, by analogy, call uh, um, geologic. I mean the Polish school, the Chinese school, uh, and uh, some of them, of course, not uh, in the exhaustively manner. Uh, donc, um, the specificity in France of uh, was uh, the French school. Many, many talks about the French school uh, uh, in the, the um, inside the French school of logic. So uh, the logic. Uh, uh, developed logics, logic, logics in the plural, uh, whatever you want, uh, developed by uh, um, French people uh, over the years. And uh, it was a very positive thing. Uh, and uh, thank you, Jean Yves. And maybe we hope continue. It. If uh, you have questions about. Yeah, so is there any questions? Please uh, uh, put them forward. I would like to say so that uh, we had the idea to organize uh, this uh, annual workshop in Paris because Paris is a very famous city and a nice city, especially in the spring. So I think it's an attractive place. And in the world, I mean, it's one of the most uh, famous cities in the world. But <clears throat> what is interesting also is that, uh, and maybe that's not clear for uh, for I many people, but in France, uh, there are people, there are many different kinds of people working in logic. Um, myself, I, I've been studying in Paris during 10 years. And so I know a bit of uh, different kind of people. And so it's very uh, heterogeneous. So we have mm. a lot of different kind of world. And the, the work of, uh, so that's interesting. So it's very interdisciplinary. And um, our workshop is to promote uh, interaction between uh, people working in all aspects of logic in Paris and uh, in the rest of the world. So uh, we had really, uh, if, we, if we look at the book, a uh, book we, uh, which is uh, of uh, 750 pages, 38 chapters, so we have a lot of diversity of all aspects of logic. And uh, we have here, I see in the, in the audience, some author of some chapter, like uh, I see here my colleague Arnaud Plagnol. Also, uh, uh, there was um, Katarzyna. You are here, Katarzyna? <laughs> and Reitu Batashi and so on. So please, uh, yeah. if you have any comments before uh, question, everybody is welcome to take part to the <laughs> next edition that will uh, take place in spring 2023 in Paris. We start again after the pandemic. Everybody is welcome to join. Mm -hmm. If you have any question, please, before we, uh, we listen to Alphonse mm -hmm. comments. I have to talk, to talk now. Sorry? Jean -Yves, uh, yeah, I think you can talk because there are no questions. One, one question, a uh, very oh. practical question, if, you, if I may, uh, about uh, when is the book available? Is it already published or is it uh, forthcoming? Uh, we are finishing the, the last uh, verification, but the book will, will, be, uh, will be ready. Uh, uh, very soon. I mean, uh, in two weeks, uh, you can. Uh, the book is already announced on the website of the book series, and uh, it will be uh, like any book of the of this uh, book series. There will be an online version and also a print version, so you can just have a look at the website. 
So uh, now we'll have a talk. Uh, uh, we we chose uh, we chose uh, the chapter uh, on Kuchira by Alfonsal Schmidt. <laughs> well, because uh, the the workshop is uh, taking place in Paris, so it makes sense to have something about a French uh, logician. And uh, Kuchira is one of the most famous uh, modern logicians, and he. He did a lot of interesting work and he's still not so well known. And Anne Francoise uh, has been working a lot on Couture, published uh, his correspondence with uh, Bertrand Russell. She has published uh, uh, his manuscript, uh, which was not uh, published yet. And uh, she did a lot of work about Couture. So it, it is very nice to have her as a book there. Also, also uh, mm. published by Bia Kauser. Uh, in the series, in the book series of uh, the Archive Poincaré. So she has a lot of things to say about Kuchara. <laughs> Welcome, and Francois, it's very nice to see you here. Yes, yes. I have to share my. Yeah, share. Yeah. Voila. Voilà, place and value. It's the same title than in the book. So I will present Coutura, Philosophy and Rationalism. Very astonishing if we, if we know that Coutura was uh, important for logic. Um, Coutura, Rationalism. It is very, very important. And in all his life, it is the same definition. Rationalism, by definition, is a strong relation between philosophy and science. Perpetual parallelism between science and philosophy. It's an expression of limits. Meaning of this rationalism to every scientific concept corresponds a philosophical idea from science to physical. For example, the mathematical idea of relation is simply an arithmetic translation of the philosophical idea of relation. scientific rationalism. There are two demands in turn to Couturat's rationalism. The first consists in justifying mathematical construction through the relationship to philosophical thought, a position that is evident in his conception of truth. Truth, whether logical or scientific, j'arrive pas à lire, uh, Whether logical, j'arrive pas à lire à cause de Jean-Yves. Jean-Yves? Yes. J'arrive pas à lire tout, tout mon tableau à cause des, des visages. Uh, you can suppress, uh, you mean the, the people? You can change. Uh... Ah, voilà, ça y est. Truths, whether logical or scientific, are relative to the thinking mind and are true only insofar as they are consistent with rational principles. And the philosophical rationalism, the other demand that which requires philosophy to also remain informed of new scientific knowledge and not to engage in real years battles. A philosophy that does not support contemporary science is a latecomer philosophy. Logic is more broader than rationality. The logical is that which can be constructed without philosophical consideration. 
in a particular science. And the rational that which can correspond with philosophical ideas. Logic, therefore, has relative independence from philosophy. But does it have its place in the series of scientific disciplines? A logical system, it is an idea very important for Kudura. A logical system must produce everything which good sense produces. Kutura characterizes common sense as our spontaneous logic, rationality compatible with a rationalism whereby any principle must have intuitive clarity. Uh, from, from what disciplines, from what uh, uh, authors, uh, is the interest for logic. One, in the De l'Infini Mathematique, Coutura quotes Leibniz several times for his idea of actual infinity, his principles of continuity, and the De Arte Combinatoria. Two, readings of Whitehead, Universal Algebra and Grassmann Geometry Analysis. Three, opportunity given by Giovanni Vacca. Four, these are not the same reason as those of Russell for the philosophy of Leibniz, result of a purely philosophical course. With Leibniz, Kutura love Leibniz because critic of syllogism, no Aristoteles. Universal language, characteristic, logical calculus, geometrical calculus, logic of relations, a logical definition of, num of number. CPM, Kutura, principle of mathematics. Universality of the principles. According to Kutura, the principles have a certain monumentality. They act directly on the interpretation of mathematical beings. The principles of continuity is justified in the construction of sets of numbers because it would be arbitrary for a point or a number to appear or disappear from the space or sets of numbers. Is it a philosophical or mathematical principle, the principle of continuity? The interpretation of the universality of Coutura makes him interpret the principle as valid everywhere. The necessity of the principles. Necessity to have great principles to identify progress in the moral and science fields. Is an idea, it is an idea of determinism. Go ahead and faith will come to you. <coughs> he wrote to Russell ab about the axiom of choice. Couture's critique of Russell's logic. A letter from Couture to Russell after the publication of the Principles of Mathematics. It would be in unfortunate for logic should there be in its foundations so complete a divorce between rigor and obviousness. As you know, this criticism was once directed at Euclid's geometry. It seems that the basic elements of mathematical thought and all thought should present themselves to the mind with dazzling clarity and not resemble souple as senseless puns. Uh, 
Alors, the criticism of the principles of mathematics. First, the use of symbolism. Pernod's symbolism for Coutura is an abbreviation. He prefers the algorithm of algebra, of logic. Two, the number of principles. There are two numerals. Three, the character and understandable of the principles without relationship to common sense. In the Manual of Logistics, now published in Birkhauser, in the preface of the Manual de Logistique, Kutera writes, we wish to say immediately and very loudly that it is not a new and special logic, an heretical or paradoxical science. Logistics is nothing other than formal logic as we have always heard. Coutura's commitment in logic. For Coutura, logistics was a way of allowing logic to fusion with mathematics and thus to find a place for logic, not at the heart of science, but at the beginning, as a foundation. For, me, for him, it was a way of illuminating the sciences, making them understandable and diffusible. And he was never skeptical, always in commitment with this idea. Back to algebra. He reads logic in algebra, having learned logic in Schroeder. He shows great distrust of symbolism. Frege, an invincible repugnance for his symbolism. Peano, I do not taste his symbolism. He prefers algebra of logic, with for him set theory put into algorithm. He prefers equivalence and equations as implications. And this, cho this choice was compatible with his strictly extensional point of view. Is it a place for logic? Coutura hesitates as to the place of logic. Does it bet from the suit of scientific disciplines? Is it at the beginning, in the heart? Is it a discipline, a habitus rather than a knowledge? It is also a problem related to the philosophy of Coutura, which left little degrees of liberty between philosophy and science which must correspond each other. It was much more convenient for him to see the elementary set theory in the algebra of logic, despite his commitment to the principles of mathematics. Reaction to Principia Mathematica, volume 1. I fear that you only work for the angels. Thank you for your, uh, for your attention. It is a, a, a journal created by Coutura for international language. Mm. Voilà. So it, it is very paradoxical. Uh, Coutura is known in France for logic and it is very important. But when he, when he dead, he, he does not work in, in logic. He, he work on international languages and for Ido, contra Esperanto e contra Giuseppe Peano. So uh, it's not the death of Coutura who, 
with a, a stop of the of the continuation of logic in France, because Coutura does not does not more work in logic. Uh, only some article for encyclopedies, etc. Voilà. Mm. Uh, thank you, Anfasa. Thank, thank you. you stop the sharing of your of your slides. Then we can see everybody. Ouais, je vais l'ôter. Attends, comment est-ce qu'on fait pour l'ôter? Normal. Attends, non. Comment est-ce que je fais pour l'ôter maintenant? Comment est-ce qu'on fait pour arrêter le partage? Well, you go. Uh... Arrêtez, arrêtez, arrêtez. Je vois. Okay. Ça y est. That's okay. Yes. So thank you very much for the nice presentation. <laughs> <laughs> and um, if there are some questions or some discussions. Yes. Yes, Guillaume. Yes. Hello, everybody. Hello, Anne-Françoise. Bonjour. Bonjour. Oui, bonjour. Okay. Uh, I have a question regarding the correspondence between uh, Russell and Louis Coutura. Could you yes. tell us a bit more about this correspondence and how Russell reacted to uh, uh, the opinion of Louis Coutura about the work of Russell and the Principia Mathematica? Ah. Um, it was a, a good... There, there were, Russell and Coutura was friends very very good friends uh, and russell in the letters to coutura explain with patience uh, the the distinction logical distinction to coutura and um, it was not symmetric because coutura does not invent uh, in 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 the, the same uh, field of Russell, uh, and he he loved new new technologies. So Coutura wrote with a type TypeScript, and it was impossible to write equations. And mm -hmm. Russell wrote with uh, Alama, with a hand. And uh, he 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 can uh, 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 write equations, so it is it is very asymmetric. But it it was uh, some accords, contra nominalism, uh, and in the in the beginning, a love for Kant. In the beginning, after Kant was uh, was uh, not not very, a été rejeté. Kant a été rejeté. But uh, Coutura uh, exposed in France, in Collège de France, in the chair of Bergson, the the logic of uh, of Russell, and it was in France. Uh, one of the mathematicians and philosophers who can explain uh, uh, modern logic. And uh, he thought that logic of relations is very, very important, but, but, but he, he thinks that it is possible to have this, this uh, uh, logic of relation uh, En, en généralisant le calcul des classes et des propositions, uh, generalizing the, the cal calculus of classes and calculus of propositions. And Russell was not in the same understanding. Russell was a very great designer of logic for all mathematics. Uh, Coutura is between algebra and logic. 
it is very different. But it was an accord, it was an understanding between them uh, a lot of time. And the discussion with Russell was not only on logic and mathematics, it was too uh, in politics. Uh, for example, in the war of the Bourse, uh, Russell was imperialist, and it is Coutura uh, who, who take, take uh, consideration uh, on the crime contre l'humanité, uh, c'est le terme qu'il utilise, uh, and Russell, Russell uh, was, was influenced by the political position of Coutura and change his, uh, his uh, idea on the wall. So uh, there are a lot of, of object in this, in this discussion. And uh, not only, not only uh, logical, mathematic, logical, logical mathematics. Mm. OK. Thank you very much. So I think the next question is from Ms. Pascu. So please go ahead. Your microphone is not working. Yes, you are right. Thank you. So um, uh, Mrs. Schmidt, uh, what about uh, Frege and Coutura? I know a little bit Frege, but uh, not uh, Coutura. That is uh, the first question. And the second question, uh, if you can uh, say more about Coutura and uh, IDO, uh, it's right, uh, the, the language, it's a kind of uh, lingua caracteristica for scientific people, for philosophers, or all. Dear, c'est comme la lingua caractéristica de Leibniz, le rêve de Leibniz, qui, or c'est un peu plus proche de. Uh, I speak English for all together. Um, <laughs> uh, closer to the language, the natural language for all people in the world, I don't know. Uh, uh, yes, thank you. Très bien. Uh, for Frege, Coutura, now, now Frege, Fre Coutura was as a new mersenne. It is a term of Jean-Claude Dumoncel because he wrote with a lot of mathematicians and philosophers in Germany, in Italian, in, in America, etc. He, he was, he was a very, very great, uh, and he put in relationship uh, some, uh, some, uh, some mathematician with other, etc. Mm -hmm. He was a sort of new person. So he knew Frege, and, but he, he, hate the symbolism of, of Frege. Why? Why? Because he, he does not understand the role of symbolism. Symbolism is not near the common sense. It's, it's the... Coutura uh, admit the symbolism for algebra, the, the Classical symbolism, but he he no, cannot no. accept the other. It's very difficult. Yes. 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 Der Begrischrift. Der Begrischrift. Yes, impossible. Uh, impossible for uh, hard, uh, even for high uh, logicians <laughs> to read, but it's uh, not false. Well. Il faut vrai. donner au César ce qui est au César. Mais bien, absolument. I don't know absolument. translate in English. Uh, we, can, we must give to César. Uh, oui, oui, 
The Congress of Philosophy of uh, 1900 uh, uh, was very important for Coutura because the last the, the work of Peano, mm -hmm. but with the work of Peano, the idea of lingua uh, universalis. For Peano, it was uh, simply um, uh, comment ce qu'il disait? Uh, lat Latino, lat yes. en Latino, il avait il disait qu'il faisait son formulaire en, en latino, je ne sais plus exactement le terme. Not bon. in the Anglo-Saxon... Ouais, ouais. uh, voilà. voilà. Okay. Euh, et, okay. et alors, le, yeah. sur la caractéristique, euh, il a eu... Euh, voilà, latino sinéflexionné, bravo, bravo, merci, merci, okay. latino sinéflexionné. Voilà. Et... <rire> et Coutura, uh, Coutura uh, was very impressed by the idea of uh, lingua, mm -hmm. international lingua, lingua. Uh, for all, not only scientists, not only mathematical, not only etc. Mm -hmm. And it was very interesting by the, the char characteristic of Leibniz. And uh, he interprets this characteristic differently as Russell. For Russell, characteristic is a mathematical idea. And for, for Coutura, it is an universal idea. This is a difference, uh, <laughs> a difference uh, between Russell and, and Coutura. Then we can consider uh, Coutura as a first, maybe, um, uh, lo logician coming uh, close to language, to language. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, C'est une force de couture, language, absolutely. Not in the mathematics, out, not oui, outside, oui. Uh, but a uh, little bit uh, uh, à l'écart. Uh, yes, uh, yes, but, yes, but Couture admit that there are not the the subject subject object uh, predication with the essence of mathematics he agree with Russell for this mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so thank you thank you merci mais je vous en prie je suis désolé pour mon terrible anglais mm. but there was a second question i think about the language ido Uh, uh, Miss Pasco also asked something about the language, Ido. Ido? Mm -hmm. Yes. Ido, I do not know very good Ido, but Louis Coutura uh, constructs this language with colleagues, and uh, he was very, very dogmatic. He, he has some battles with Peano, Uh, in the end of his life, because Peano used Esperanto, etc. And mm. um, Coutura was first Esperantist. Uh, he, he, he have some relationship with Zamenhof, but after Ido is the only language, universal language for, for him. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you cannot speak Ido very well. Pardon? 
So, so you cannot speak Ido very well. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Certain of my articles, I have writing who, who were uh, translated in Ido. Oh. But not by me. <laughs> yes, yes, okay, okay. So I think the next in line with questions is Mr. Muravitsky. Mr. Muravitsky. So you can ask a question? Yeah, yes, I'm sorry. Uh, my, uh, I think of the, uh, for uh, an interesting talk. Um, so my question is, uh, as far as I know, Alonzo Church uh, credited uh, Kutera for being the first to explicitly formulate the substitution rule for propositional calculus. Uh, could you please uh, comment on this? Uh, Jean-Yves, est-ce que tu pourrais me traduire la question, s'il te plaît? Beg your pardon? Uh, sorry, uh, can you repeat your question, Alexei? Yeah, uh, as far as I know, I read somewhere uh, that Alonso the Church credited uh, Kujara for being the first to explicitly formulate the substitution rule for propositional calculus. Could you please comment on this? Okay, we translate. So, uh, Church a dit que Kutcher a été le premier à formuler uh, la loi ou l'axiome de substitution. Je ne savais pas, d'ailleurs, ça m'intéresse parce que c'est un sujet très intéressant. C'est uh, au centre de mes recherches. Et je sais que dans le Principia Mathematica, il y a une curieuse forme de substitution. C'est un problème pour Russell. Mais je ne connais pas les détails. Est-ce que tu en sais quelque chose, uh, Anne-Françoise, sur le, la question Alors, de écoute, la substitution? Je sais que. Ça, je n'ai pas pu l'exposer dans, dans un si petit temps, mais Coutura avait des attentions de la logique qui étaient, qui étaient, qui étaient parfois très fines. Entre les, il savait distinguer très bien les principes et les règles. Et il y était plus attentif que, que Russell. Et sur la question des substitutions, oui, il connaissait ça, mais je ne savais pas qu'il était, qu était un, un des auteurs de ça. Yeah, so she just je ne sais pas où Church a, a trouvé ça. Je ne sais pas. Where, so where Church found, found this, Alexei, you know? What is the reference? Maybe, maybe in his book. Maybe in his book, Introduction to Mathematical Logic. No, uh, no I know, but could you are aware uh, he... He uh, doesn't say that, nothing. Is credited. That's why I would like to uh, to hear uh, maybe. Uh, By the way, I would like to remember some that. Comment, comments on this. I mean, probably they uh, may a uh, few people know about the work of Kutcher. Kutcher published the book, which is called uh, *L'Algebra de la Logique*, which was immediately translated right. in English. And at the time, right. many people have interest in, uh, uh, about this book. But later on, you know. A uh, few people know this book nowadays. It's quite interesting book. It's, it's a small book, but... Oui, il a été réédité, d'ailleurs. Yeah, was well, Il a été réédité récemment, donc il y a des gens qui le lisent. Mm -hmm. Mais yeah, je ne sais pas, il faudra que je... Il faudra que je, que je vois pour le, la question des substitutions. J'ai la... J'ai là un énorme... Substitution. Non, j'ai pas, j'ai rien sous substitution. J'ai rien sous substitution. J'ai regardé dans le fichier que j'avais là oh. sur le, la correspondance Russell Coutura. J'ai rien de spécial sur substitution. So she she saying that on the correspondence between uh, Coutura and Russell, she did not find anything about substitution. By the way, Anne Françoise, uh, can you remember us how you discovered this uh, correspondence, which was completely lost in uh, in uh, Switzerland? Anne Françoise is originally from Switzerland, like me, you know. And uh, in Lachaud de Fond, uh, Lachaud de Fond is a small town in Switzerland, <laughs> in the mountain, where they are producing a lot of watches, you know. But <laughs> they were, it's famous for watches, but uh, the correspondence was there, you know. And uh, during yes, many years, yes. it was lost. Because up, an up? ethnologue, because an ethnologue whose name is Claude Gacon, 
And this ethnologue uh, create a library with all the texts in the, in the world on, on um, uh, universal or international languages. And uh, he received a, a donation of a, look, of a man of Luxembourg uh, who was uh, an inter internationalist uh, linguistic. And in these uh, papers, we were mixed, terrible mixed, mixed, mixed there was the correspondence between Russell and Couture, all together. Probably because uh, Couture uh, death is an accident, and I think that Russell sent to his wife uh, the letters of Russell. I think it is this. And after the, the the papers from from France to Luxembourg, the the paper of international language from Coutura and other was first in Town Limoges, je crois je crois conservé par des curés, et ensuite ils ont été ils ont été au Luxembourg. Et le Le, le camion qui venait du Luxembourg euh, a été arrêté à la douane. Et la personne. I, I, I'm just translating. So the, the, the question was in Utrecht, in yes. Luxembourg, and was going from where? Was going to where? La personne qui conduisait s'est aperçue qu'il ou elle avait oublié son sac avec son passeport dans le camion. Mm -hmm. Donc il a fallu tout vider pour avoir les papiers et tout remettre dans le camion. Donc tout a été complètement mélangé. Yeah, but when the, uh, comment c'est arrivé à la chaussant? Why uh, did you? Ouais. Did, yeah. uh, uh, pourquoi est-ce que c'est arrivé à la chaussant de fond la correspondance? À cause de la de la bibliothèque faite par Claude Gacon. Ah. Oh, yeah. C'est à cause so, de ça. Mais yeah. c'est arrivé dans un état dans un état tel que on n'a pas vu tout de suite qu'il y avait cette correspondance ainsi que des correspondances avec d'autres mathématiciens et qu'il y avait le manuel de logistique et qu'il y avait l'histoire de la logique, etc. etc. Mais euh, Claude Gacon a dû remarquer à un moment donné qu'il tombait sur une correspondance où il voyait la signature de Russell et il a averti le logicien Jean Blaise Grise qui était professeur à Neuchâtel Et comme je venais de terminer une thèse sur la philosophie de Poincaré, il m'a proposé d'aller à la Chaux-de-Fonds. Il m'a envoyé à la Chaux-de-Fonds pour examiner cette correspondance. Et j'ai pu la photocopier. Et j'ai trouvé quelque chose d'extraordinaire, d'une invention. d'une invention. Euh, <rire> on, voit, on voit Russell inventé dans cette, dans cette correspondance. Alors, euh, j'ai averti les archives Russell qui sont à McMaster University Et ils m'ont demandé, ils m'ont demandé un, 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 un petit extrait d'édition possible que j'ai fait, et ils m'ont donné les droits d'édition. Voilà. Uh, yeah, we translate. So uh, this correspondence uh, arrived in Rashford for Switzerland because there was a guy there, Gacon, who was uh, was interested in internal language, so international language. So everything connected with internal language was going there. But then the correspondence between Couture and Russell was completely forgotten until Gacon noticed that there was a signature uh, of Russell there. So he just contacts someone from the University of Neuchâtel, which is close to La Chaux-de-Fonds, where uh, Alphonse was, was working. I uh, was working there also during some time. And then the logician there, Jean Blaise Gris, uh, this. Uh, he sent Anne Francoise to La Chaux-de-Fonds to see exactly what was going on. And then she discovered all this correspondence, which is the most important correspondence uh, of concern with someone. Uh, it's two volumes. Uh, it's everything is in French because Bertrand Russell was uh, speaking writings fluently in French. 
few people know that maybe. <laughs> so uh, the press palace is, is completely 100% in French. And uh, do you think at some point, Al Françoise, it will be translated in English? Tu penses que ce sera traduit en anglais une fois, cette correspondance? Il y a des Alors, à... Le problème, pour la... il y a longtemps qu'on parle d'une traduction. Mais évidemment, j'ai eu le même problème qu'en France. Il y a le même problème qu'en France, c'est que j'ai eu beaucoup, beaucoup de peine à trouver un éditeur. Même des éditeurs de mathématiques m'ont dit qu'ils n'ont jamais édité de la logique, etc. C'est finalement Kimé qui a accepté, qui a pris ce risque, mais ça a été extrêmement difficile, d'autant plus qu'à l'époque, Russell était très peu connu en France, il faut reconnaître. Il faut reconnaître. Et euh, donc, il y a les collectés Piper de, de Russell, mais là, ils ont aussi des problèmes, c'est-à-dire que les logiciels pour euh, éditer les équations logiques sont les mêmes qu'il y, qu y a 40 ans ou à peu près. Et ils ont beaucoup de mal à se renouveler. Et puis, d'autre part, c'est assez énorme cette correspondance. C'est plus de 730 pages, écrit petit, ét, édité petit. Et donc, euh, ils ont eu plusieurs, plusieurs personnes ont pensé le traduire, etc., et ont renoncé. Et puis, il faut des fonds. Et il y a, etc. Donc même le, le centre d'études de Russell n'a pas trouvé le moyen de le faire. Par contre, ce qu'ils ont fait, sans me demander, et sans demander à qui met, ils ont pris un certain nombre de lettres qu'ils ont, qu ont éditées euh, indépendamment. Voilà. Ok, so Alpha Sash is explaining that it's difficult because, uh, to translate because. <laughs> A uh, few people are interested uh, in uh, publishing this, but I think the thing, uh, maybe you think would change, we'll see. But I think it's probably very interesting because in this correspondence, Couture and Russell, they are talking about many different topics, logic, uh, politics, and as you were explaining at the beginning of your talk, uh, uh, there is a question, I mean, uh, Couture has a strong influence on Bertrand Russell about political question, and uh, Bertrand Russell became famous also for political reason. So uh, Couture was a pacifist, and he had a strong influence on Bertrand Russell about political uh, political vision of the world. So it's, I think in the future, people may be uh, very interested in this book. I would like to also to say, since uh, Guillaume Moshe is here, welcome, bonjour Guillaume. Uh, yeah, so Guillaume uh, is a winner of the second uh, Lugosture Logic Prize. So we created uh, a prize of logic in France, like in many different countries in the world. And in France, we decided to give the name uh, of Lugosture to this prize. It makes sense because, you know, it's Lugosture in some sense. is the most famous logician of the modern time in France. So uh, congratulations, Guillaume, for, the, for winning this prize, second edition. The first edition was... Thank you, Jean. It was also a real uh, honor and pleasure for me to, to re receive this prize. Thank you. Right. <laughs> Very good. Uh, I see that uh, Julie is here. Welcome, Julie. You want to say something? Uh, Maybe you want to make an advertisement about the event you are organizing next week at the summit. I'm sorry, what did you say? Uh, advert uh, advertising what? The, the workshop you're organizing ah, next yes, week. Yes, yes. Thank yeah. you, thank you very much for this, uh, for this talk and thank you for organizing this, uh, this, um, this conference. Yes, the next week I will uh, have uh, the the uh, the fourth uh, uh, workshop on my uh, project uh, homo logicus Log logic at the edges of humanity and uh, we had already three workshop from the we we began um, five years ago and uh, after those uh, three uh, workshops thanks to jean-yves uh, we were able to publish a first uh, volume in his uh, series uh, logica universalis uh, 
which is called uh, Logical Skills, uh, Historical and uh, Social Perspectives. And the, um, we, we keep on the same uh, topic, but with a slightly different perspective, much more emphasis on the relationship within, between the history of uh, logic and the history of social sciences. So thank you very much <laughs> for giving, giving the opportunity to publicizing this event. And it, it will be online. But only on live, but also on, uh, it will be on location also at the Sorbonne. It will no? be in Paris at the Sorbonne yeah. uh, on the 22nd and on the 23rd of June. And uh, maybe I can send, uh, well, maybe Jean-Yves, you can maybe uh, yeah, we'll circulate try to... the link to other people because I'm not sure I have the, the mail of uh, uh, everyone me, here. Uh, yeah, I, will, I will put it on the chat. So yes. uh, uh, it will start. There are, on... there are two links. One for each day, the 22 and the 22nd and the 23rd. 22, uh, and the title is uh, Social History of Logic and Historical History uh, Anthropology of Logic. I, I, I just sent the general links, general, uh, the link about the, but the, the, so the workshop will start in one week. Uh, yes, they... so if you're interested, you can write to me and I send you the, the links. Right. Or Teams, uh, it will be a Teams uh, connection. So everybody can attend the workshop. It's open to the. Oui, yes, yes, it's uh, completely open. Yeah. <laughs> everybody interested in the social history uh, and uh, historical anthropology of logic. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Thank you so much for your talk. I'm sorry I was late. Thank you. I had another appointment before. Yeah. Mm. So thank you. That's it. All right. Thanks. Mm, yes. So maybe there are more questions. Or maybe not. Uh, I see a question from uh, Shankar Panava. But your microphone is off, Shankar. Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I have a comment. A few years ago, I came across a, a, a book of uh, Kutura on Boolean algebras. And it is so beautifully written. It is as if it was written last, last decade or something like that. It is so easily readable and mm -hmm. wonderful notation. I just wanted to, I wish more people knew about it. I was mm -hmm. so happy to read the book, by the way. Thank you. No, <laughs> Sorry? Est-ce que tu pourrais me traduire, s'il te plaît? Ah, il a dit qu'il avait trouvé un livre euh, de Couturat sur la, euh, la logique de Boulle. Ah oui, oui, bien sûr. Oui, oui, oui. oui. Sur l'algèbre de la logique, absolument. Il a écrit un certain nombre de choses. Et effectivement, il, il était très proche de ça. Mais est-ce qu'il a écrit, parce que je connais les livres sur la, sur la logique, mais est-ce qu'il a écrit quelque chose sur Boulle particulièrement? Il en, il en parle dans ses textes, mais je ne suis pas sûr qu'il y ait un, un texte consacré à Boulle. Ah, je ne suis pas sûr. Et il y a une question. Je peux vérifier. Je peux vérifier. Je peux vérifier. Yeah. So uh, meanwhile, uh, let, oh, yeah, she's come back. She's coming back. Thank you. 
Non, je ne vois pas d'article ou de livre sur Boulle particulièrement. Mais évidemment, il en parle dans, ses, dans ses travaux. Mais il n'y a rien de, qui est spécialement sur, euh, sur, euh, sur Boulle. En tout cas, dans tous les titres que j'ai là, c'est complet, hein, cette euh, bibliographie. Il n'y a rien qui soit véritablement consacré à Boulle. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I will put on the link, uh, the I will put on the chat the correspondence uh, you edited uh, about uh, the correspondence between, uh, I mean, between uh, Russell and uh, Kutra. Now, uh, yeah, I see it. <laughs> Good. <laughs> and uh, uh, let me put the link on the chat. Um, Uh, one more question. Uh, I mean, uh, what was the relation between uh, Kuchera and Whitehead? Because uh, we know, uh, we now know quite well that there was a close connection between Kuchera and Russell. But what about Whitehead? Because Whitehead is famous to have written uh, before Principia Mathematica his book on uh, universal algebra. And yes. uh, we know the story that, uh, on, the, on the one hand, Bertrand Russell wrote Principle of Mathematics, and Whitehead wrote the, his book on Universal Algebra. And yes. then the two meet and decide to write a book together. And for, uh, for Russell, it was uh, the follow-up of Principle of Mathematics. And for Whitehead, it was a follow-up of his book on uh, universal algebra. So what was the connection between uh, Kuchera and uh, Whitehead? Did they have some contact at some point? Yes, yes, but indirect. 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 He, he, he meet, they, they meet, uh, they have meetings, but only with um, the connection uh, by Russell. I see. So there was no special connection between. No, uh, no special, no special connection. Yeah, sometimes it's strange uh, in the sense that uh, things are developing uh, according to very specific circumstances, personal relation. But that's life. I mean. No, no. Mm -hmm. Because the book of Kuchera about algebra of logic is close to the book of. Of white to head uh, on universal. Yes, yes, uh, exactly. Yes, yes. Hello. And can you say a bit more about the word logistic, which was uh, proposed by Couture to name uh, the modern logic? Yes, Couture and Lalande why, and uh, Ittelson. Why did he choose this word logistic? Uh, this name was was uh, uh, used uh, before. I, I think in the manual of logistic, it is manual de logistic. Au tout début, voilà. Alors. Le, il, il a édit, hésité entre le, logique moderne, logique exacte. Mais comme il y a des, encore des philosophes qui traitent la logique suivant l'ancienne méthode, en se contentant d'expressions verbales des idées et en faisant appel au simple bon sens, on voit que Russell l'a éduqué, hein, il est utile d'avoir un mot spécial pour désigner cette logique moderne et progressiste et distinguer les théories qui la constituent de celles des logiciens traditionnalistes. Bien des expressions ont été employées à cette fin, aucune ne nous satisfait. Logique symbolique a le tort d'attacher trop d'importance à l'emploi des symboles, qui n'est qu'un caractère accessoire et dérivé de la logique moderne. 
Ce n'est pas parce qu'elle fait usage de symboles qu'elle est plus rigoureuse et plus précise que la vieille logique. C'est parce qu'elle est plus rigoureuse qu'elle est obligée de se servir de symboles. Algèbre de la logique a le tort de présenter la logistique comme une algèbre, comme un jeu de mathématiciens qui s'amuse à poser arbitrairement des règles de calcul et à en développer les conséquences formelles sans s'inquiéter du sens réel de ces formules et de leur application possible. En fait, c'est un peu dans cet esprit plus algébrique que logique que Boulle et Schröder ont traité la logistique. Et cela n'a pu que confirmer les préjugés défavorables que les philosophes routiniers ont conçus dès l'origine à l'égard de la logique. Calcul logique a le même inconvénient qu'algèbre de la logique. En outre, il présente la logique comme un calcul, c'est-à-dire une sorte de mécanisme. Mais certains logisticiens ont imprudemment exagéré le caractère mécanique et inintelligent du calcul logique, ce qui favorisait encore les préjugés hostiles à la logistique. Logique mathématique est équivoque, car cette expression peut signifier soit la logique des mathématiques, soit une logique à forme mathématique. En fait, il se trouve que la logique à forme mathématique est aussi la seule qui puisse servir à l'analyse exacte des vérités mathématiques. Mais c'est là une sorte de coïncidence qui ne justifie pas la susdite équivoque. Et même pour pouvoir l'exprimer, il faut distinguer verbalement ces deux sens. Il faut pouvoir dire la logistique est la vraie, la seule logique des mathématiques. Reste logique algorithmique, expression employée par Delboeuf et qui nous a paru longtemps la meilleure ou la moins mauvaise. Mais elle est longue, disgracieuse et peu claire. Le mot algorithme est un peu hésité et d'ailleurs vague, ne dispense pas d'une explication, etc. Ça continue encore sur une page. <rire> yeah, but, uh, so uh, let me translate very quickly. So uh, <laughs> Couture is criticizing five different name, names. So he is against uh, using algebra logic because it's too close to algebra. He's against using symbolic logic because it's too much symbols. And I think he, he has the idea that symbols are not so important. He's again a mathematical logic because there is a double sense of mathematical logic. It's a logic of mathematics and it's a mathematical logic. So I think it's ambiguous. He's against, he's against calculus of logic because he, don't, he, he doesn't think that logic reduces the calculus. And also, he thinks that his preference was for uh, logic alg algorithmic, but he thinks that it's too much complicated and too long. Uh, so he prefers logistic. But nowadays, logistics is used in a different, in a different meaning. So, Uh, what, uh, I don't know, uh, so there are five uh, negative reasons about different terminology, and then logistics, well, uh, it's not clear why uh, this word logistics, why not, uh, my question is, why not simply logic, uh, just one word, log logistics? Because some philosophers use logic in a verbal situation. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Il ne faut pas oublier que en Angleterre, à l'époque de Russell, de la jeunesse de Russell, tous les philosophes Oxford et Cambridge étaient hégéliens. Donc, il y a eu des multitudes de logiques. Des multitudes. Everybody was hégélien in England. You see. Yeah. Donc, donc, le problème était aussi de se distinguer de cela. Oh, yeah. So logic was used in ambiguous way in England because it was close to Hegel. Okay, it's interesting. Russell a été hégélien pendant un certain temps. Yeah. And Russell was hégélien. Few people know about that, you know, that Hegel had so much influence in, in England. Also in different countries, in Germany also in French. France. I, can I say something? Yeah, sure. Now, même maintenant, il y a une sorte de, pas disconnexion, mais parallélisme entre les deux formes, euh, la, la déduction, si on prend la, euh, le calcul des propositions et des prédicats, la logique euh, euh, classique, traditionnelle, oui. enfin. Alors, on peut la voir comme un, un calcul, comme un language, comme un, comme une, un langage. Et... Il y a les deux formes, la théorie, enfin, théorie des modèles et la déduction naturelle. Il y a oui. le, dans le livre de Dirk Van Dalen, 
um, uh, the logic of natural language, I don't know exactly. Uh, uh, Dirk van Dalen, qui dit que la voie royale, c'est la déduction naturelle, parce que c'est oui. plus proche du raisonnement commun, du raisonnement humain. Euh, et la voie profane, euh, non, la voie profane, c'est déduction naturelle, et la voie royale, c'est la théorie des modèles, c'est-à-dire mm -hmm. la disconnexion ou la connexion artificielle entre syntaxe et sémantique. Mm -hmm. Mais on peut discuter sur ça, je pense que dès maintenant, si on prend en compte les théories de enfin, théorie entre guillemets, l'intelligence artificielle, qu'est-ce que c'est que l'intelligence artificielle et comment la logique contribue à fonder, même pas à fonder, mais à être, à peut-être appliqué à l'intelligence artificielle. Well, I'm just uh, translating what you're saying, Anka. Uh, many different, of course, there are many different tendencies in logic. I mean, uh, natural deduction, which is connected to proof theory, model theory, artificial intelligence. And I think that's the point, that we want to unify all these tendencies in logic. And this is uh, the, one of the idea of universal logic, to have a general yes. view of, of logic, both from the mathematical point of view, from the yes, philosophical yes, point of, of view. This is what we are trying to do. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Yes, very so, good. Uh, yeah, all right. Very good. And it's, it is very interesting that in 80, beginning of 80 and 90, uh, the cognition, the um, Cognition sciences um, asked themselves about the relation between language, uh, thinking, and calculus, and yes. uh, the logic, the relation between logic and language. Uh, Jean-Pierre Desclay has many contributions um, uh, uh, in the field of um, of um, the relation between logic and language and linguistics. Yes, of course. There is a new that. book. I do not know if you see a very new book on inventory of synthetic cognition on intelligence artificial. Uh, please put uh, put back a little bit uh, back and to the left. We can see. Uh, yes. Ah, yeah, that's based on that. <coughs> Là, voilà. Yeah, Avec I de très nombreux auteurs. I, I think the connection with linguistic and semiotic also is very important. And this is what we try to do with Jean Pierre uh, with this uh, workshop. I see that uh, Amir Rouch just arrived. So Amir Rouch is one of the editors of the book and one of the organizers of the workshop. So welcome, Amir Rouch. Can you say a few words? We cannot see you. Yeah, hello, everyone. I, yeah, I'm afraid you cannot see me because my camera doesn't work here. I'm speaking from my phone. And sorry for joining late. Yeah, I'm, I was at the, you know, some jury for PhD dissertation anyway. Yeah. Thanks again for organizing the event and uh, I'm listening. I, I, did, I didn't hear the beginning, so I cannot really participate in the discussion, but thanks again for organizing the event. All right. And uh, so Razan, uh, can you say maybe uh, some words about uh, the, the line of Joseph Gorgon and Sanu, which is also a very general view of logic that we are trying to develop? And uh, very yeah it's very difficult but uh, just before one minute i wanted to say something about this talk uh, yeah. today because i i think there was a phrase there uh, which uh, strike me as very 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 true you know uh, from kuturas to logic illuminating sciences uh, yes and then i was uh, struck by the case of uh, non standard analysis uh, because this is exactly what happened. I think uh, logic, especially model theory, really illuminated the analysis and recuperated the thinking of Leibniz and Newton, which 
I'm sorry to make this comparison, but I think they have much greater minds than uh, these uh, creators of modern analysis like Cauchy and uh, I don't know, uh, Weistras and something like this. And uh, in a way, I think uh, without uh, I mean, this modern analysis, I think is going as a, as a mathematician, I feel as a, as a model theorist also going in the wrong direction because uh, this is not uh, following the, uh, the thinking of uh, the pioneers of analysis, Linus, Newton and Euler. Very, very great minds. And in, in my opinion, I think uh, it should be exactly the other way around. Like standard analysis should be the analysis of uh, logic Newton Leibniz illuminated by Robinson mm -hmm. through his model theory work and uh, <coughs> maybe non standard analysis should be this, this one that we call it standard analysis now. And about Joseph Gogan, yes, I think he very difficult to say. You know, he, he was my uh, professor, very close relationship with him. He was a very, very broad mind acting in. Uh, many areas of science, but had a kind of, um, of um, how to say, is there was something common, you know, to uh, a kind of style. His style was based on algebra, maybe like Kutura, and uh, he believed very much in algebra, algebraic ideas in, even in social sciences, even in social sciences. And uh, another uh, style of his was he emphasized very, very much on elegance and beauty. So he thought that uh, aesthetic uh, criteria is a mark of truth in science. So, so he really linked truth to elegance of mathematical ideas. And uh, I think we plan uh, in this series of Janiv, we plan a book of his collected works. I have a little story to say about his broadness that in 1990, I attended a conference on um, uh, category theory or something. And uh, I was just admitted to his PhD program. And I told to some people who were coming from fuzzy sets here, from fuzzy sets and where he did his uh, PhD and uh, I told them that I go to Gogan to do algebra specification and logic and something like this. And they say, ah, yeah, we know also another guy with his name <laughs> doing fuzzy logic. And I, we simply could not connect these two, two people, but it was only one person, the same person. Uh, so it was, uh, and this happened to me several times also with linguistics and other things. But I think he is very, I think this would be a very, very interesting book that eventually sometimes will, uh, it says we are only at the very, very beginning stages of <laughs> this project. But there's one who, who was a guy? Uh, Joseph a... Gogan, uh, Joseph Gogan, his name. Ah. Actually he was uh, related to the famous painter Gauguin, but uh, he was a kind of grand, grand something. But I think his family, a branch of that family emigrated to Canada and they anglicized the name and it became Gauguin. Um, yeah, I, I don't know, in some circles he's very well known, in other circles he is not, uh, not known. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, we are. Denis Sokolsky? Our... Sorry? Don, Denis Sokolsky? Il a parlé de Sokolsky. Uh, I, I, I'm not sure to, to know, but uh, let me put uh, Joseph Gogan here in the chat. But uh, so, uh, just one minute. So uh, we are uh, reaching uh, one hour and a half of our webinar. So I think uh, we will stop. And uh, thank you to everybody to, 
is here today and uh, everybody is welcome for the next edition of logic in question in paris <laughs> next spring <laughs> yeah sure 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 and um also we will go on with uh logica universalis webinar we have two sessions every month and uh, so um, this was the second today it was the second session of june in july uh we'll have the first session uh if i remember well july 6 uh we'll have the information on the website of the webinar so thank you to everybody again thank you yeah, okay thank, thank, you, thank you very much thank you very much thank you very much bye bye bye, bye. bye. thank you very bye bye, bye. 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 <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. bye. <coughs> bye.